Yeah, good evening YouTube. So I've got the charge controller up there and then that feeds my distribution panel here. So what I have is three coax power jacks for lights. So I've got one for the inside light, one for the outside, and I figured I'd add a third one just in case. And then I've got three pairs of banana jacks where I can plug my batteries into once I make up some cables, but right now I just have a couple of alligator clips on there running down to my jump start battery. And so he's plugged in. Voltage 13 volts. We're still getting a little bit of charge out of the panels. It's a little bit late tonight. And then I added a couple of uh, extension cables. I, th I figure if I ever put a lighter socket in here maybe something like that but anyway I've got one light cable hooked up over to here and there we go so I've got my repurposed light that used to be a low voltage CFL light and it's now LED and then I'm gonna run a cable down to the other end and I've got four more of these square lights so this is six here I've got four more that I'm going to put down at the other end of the shed because it's it's very dark down there. So yeah, there we go. I got my light, and so I just need to uh, make some battery cables, and then I can probably run the battery cables in through here, and then I drilled a hole right back here. You can see that, and then I can drop down, and I've made room for my backpack sprayer down there on the bottom so that'll be one battery and then I'll have the jump start pack up here so once I get my LED flashlight bulb in there I'll be able to use that that light to light up this side of the shed if I'm looking for something over here so I've got room for the two batteries I'll plug those again into the banana jacks yeah, so I used a 12 gauge cable for all the battery connections, and then this is actually 16 gauge. The charge controller only puts out about one and a quarter amps maximum. You know, the short circuit current is one and a half amps. So now all I need to do is fabricate my little floodlight. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably put a switch maybe out here under the eave I'll put a maybe put a switch for that light rather than have a motion sensor light I think I'd rather have a light I could turn on if I need it and turn it off if I don't that way it's it's not uh, running the batteries down if there's creatures out in the backyard raccoons and possums and cats and who knows what all out here I figure it's not worth having them trigger the light and burn up my batteries so I, I think I'll get set up a switch someplace outside so I can just reach up and flip the switch on and then have a 10 watt LED floodlight up on the top there. So yeah, I think the solar shed is pretty much up and running now. So yeah, I'll have to get my outside light wired and get a switch set up and then I've still got to make the cables now I know the uh, distance so I can make the cables to just just barely fit you know go over from here down and then I'll probably have to make a longer one for the backpack sprayer because it's got to go from down there all the way up the wall and then over to here. So that way I have two batteries plugged in and then either one can be disconnected and taken out to use. So if I'm maybe going camping and I need a portable power bank, I can grab this. I just pull the lighter socket out and take it. And the, the backpack sprayer will be down below powering the system. And if I need to grab the backpack sprayer, this guy's powering the system. So I have two batteries and this way either battery will be fully charged at all times ready to go and then it's also serving a purpose it's powering this the charge controllers keeping everything charged and I'll have my light 
And then I've got to figure out something for a fan back there. So I guess the other thing I could maybe do here is rig up a, uh, a set of hooks. Something to catch this handle in. That way I could hang the battery pack off of something rather than having it on the shelf. So that's my other options. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you the first iteration of the solar shed. I've got the battery distribution panel. I've got a charge controller and an LED light and it's all running on solar power and I think that came out pretty nice. So yeah, we'll have a few little um, adjustments to make and fine-tuning where things go and how long cables have to be and all that sort of thing. So yeah, if you have any questions about that, post up in the comments section below. I'll try to put a couple of videos here on the side that you might be interested in. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel. Be notified of updates. And as always, thanks for watching.